What happened to Dakota James? It is a mystery that has haunted family and friends of the Duquesne University graduate student for two years. Officially, his death was ruled an accident. But there are now questions about whether he was killed by serial killers known as the Smiley Face Killers. The case recently was featured on a new cable TV docuseries. But some new information has come out since that show aired. Here's John Shumway with Accident or Abduction, the mysterious death of Dakota James. It has been just over two years since this security camera caught the last image of 23-year-old Dakota James alive. So there are days you have to learn to put a smiling face on because I've got other people in my life, you know, and I've got to be braver. Dakota would want me to be brave. Pam James is Dakota's mom. He wouldn't want me to be a victim. He'd say, Pam, now it's time to stop that. Let's out. And that's all I'm trying to do is to figure it out. Pam says she has to push the emotions of mom aside when it's time for Detective Pam to go to work looking for answers. I knew we had plans for the weekend. I knew the last time I talked to him, he was very upbeat, getting ready to start his new set of college classes. Just gotten a raise, just gotten a bonus. But Dakota James didn't make it to that weekend. On January 25th, 2017, he left friends in this nightclub strip on Liberty Avenue and headed for home on the north side, walking through Katz Plaza, where this final picture was taken, and then down the alley towards Fort Duquesne Boulevard. We can't tell whether he goes left or he goes right. The official theory? He crossed Fort Duquesne Boulevard and went down the steps from the Clemente Bridge to urinate. The evidence seems to indicate that he may have fallen into the water. In that time of year with the, you know, with the water temperatures, you only have a couple minutes is probably a long shot, but you don't, you don't have much time before you go into shock and that's the end of that. When Pam James got the call that her son was missing. I believed that Dakota was in trouble when we found out. I never in my wildest dreams believed that he would have walked across that river to go down to it to pee and would have accidentally fallen in. I just knew that something had happened. The Jameses temporarily moved from their home in Frederick, Maryland to Pittsburgh to spearhead searches and plead with authorities to do more. Five days after he was last seen, police accepted the missing persons report. I honestly think Dakota was picked up when he uh, came out of the alley there at Scott's place. And she learned from one of Dakota's friends. He possibly was drugged and someone had tried to abduct him six weeks before. I believe he was drugged, like all our other victims, abducted off the street, held for a period of time before they killed him, and then he was placed into the water. Retired New York City police detective Kevin Gannon leads a group of investigators looking into a series of mysterious deaths of young men who disappear and are later found in a body of water. They've dubbed them the work of the Smiley Face Killers, since Smiley Face Graffiti is found near where the bodies disappeared or are found. Dakota James's body was found in the Ohio River near the Neville Island Bridge 40 days after he disappeared. Very little decomposition, um, externally or internally. It does not look like a body that has been in the water for a little shy of seven weeks. At the request of Detective Gannon and the James family, renowned pathologist Dr. Cyril Wecht reviewed the autopsy findings, which had concluded an accidental drowning. There's no way the body could have traveled 10 miles through a dam, 40 days, and been that pristine. Something would have been torn. There was no scratch marks on his face or his hands. It's impossible. And I've seen hundreds of these cases, so I'm telling you, it, 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 it doesn't make sense. The discrepancies become more pronounced as the Dakota James case gains momentum in the national press. Up next, blood, possible ligature marks, and time all go under the microscope as accident or abduction. The mysterious death of Dakota James continues right after the break.